Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Greg Tech X and today I'm gonna be showing you how to get um custom wallpapers for your LG Voyager and then taking that wallpaper, putting it on Bluetooth, so you can set it as a wallpaper for your phone on the touch screen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Safari browser and you're gonna find um a photo that you want. So ab Extract uh, images red. So I'm gonna get something red. Um, this is searchme.com. Um, so what you're gonna do? I'm gonna go to Yahoo actually. And red abstract. So it's red abstract, and then go to images. So here's some that are on the just images. So I'm gonna say. Uh, Red abstract wallpaper. Alright, so I'm gonna take this one. Mine's red, so it looks, looks pretty good. So what you're gonna do is okay, so it's that. Um. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna save the images, or you're gonna save the image, and you click X. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a photo editing program. Um, GIMP, uh, GIMP is free, I'll have a link to the description, um, Photoshop, anything, so that you can edit a photo with in any size. So what you're going to do is, um, I do not remember the dimensions for the LG Voyager, um, uh, size for the image, so I'm going to search that right now. So you're going to search LG Voyager, um, wallpaper size. <clears throat> <coughs> so this is gonna be the dimensions, so I don't want that. Um just a uh, simple search. Um so let me find it. Alright, voyagerwalls.com. So these are these are pre made ones, so I mean you could just get one off of here. Um so I'm gonna take a car. So let's see what kind of cars they have. Um, let's see what they got. All right. So say I wanted um, this uh, this Mustang one. So we're gonna, you're gonna click on it, and then they have ones for um, you want no icons. And then now for a top bar, click here for no top bar. So this is the size. I'm actually gonna get the size, so I'm just gonna you're gonna open up your GIMP, and I'll get I'll put the the size in the description. Um, so you're gonna open the the wallpaper that you found. You're gonna open the wallpaper, and then um now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna find size. So it's 240 by 400. So you're gonna make a new document. So 240 by 400. And there's where your wallpaper. What you're gonna do is you're going to open up the image that you want and you search like red abstract or whatever you search, and then now it has it's that. So now what I like to do is I just like to uh, select it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the image and then I'm gonna paste the image. So now what I like to do is I like to just use the the rotator and then find a part of the image that I want my background. So I think I'll take that right there. So that looks pretty pretty good. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna file, you're gonna save it, and make sure you're gonna save it as a PNG file. Now what that is, it's a higher image quality, so it doesn't pixelize the image, it doesn't do anything. So you're gonna save it as red abstract dot png. And you're gonna export and you're gonna save it. Now you have it saved. Now you're gonna close your uh, your programs. Um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Bluetooth on your computer and make sure the Bluetooth on your phone is turned on. Um, that's a key thing. Um, if you guys have text messaging, which mine is disabled right now, um, but you you can uh, I believe you can email it to yourself. Or this is Bluetooth is way easier I, I think in my opinion. So you're gonna go to Bluetooth. You're going to go to LG, your Bluetooth, you got to set it up, pair it with your computer, and you're going to um, send the file. No, you don't want to send, you want to browse the device. So 
you can go Bluetooth, LG Voyager, browse device. It's going to connect. And I just got to find out where I saved that red abstract because I, I want it on the desktop. So you don't have to save it again, just save it in the desktop. It's, um, uh, it's white user, so that's what I'm going to save. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to just close this out. Quit. Quit. Alright, so now you're going to see my pictures, my sounds, and my video. You're going to click on my pictures. And um, these are all the pictures on my phone. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take the red abstract and drag it to your phone. <clears throat> now, let it transfer. Shouldn't take that long. I don't think it shouldn't. But um, just let it let it load. All right. Now on your phone, um, you should see the Bluetooth logo, and then to the right of that, you should see like kind of uh, a line with like uh, I don't know how to explain it, like a half of a square. And now when it's done, it should go off. Like I don't know what, what picture it is, but. It should be like a little, like it's sending or whatever. So now it's on my phone. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your phone. And I don't have a picture of my, I'll put a picture of my phone when I apply it. So just go to menu, settings and tools. And then go to media center, pictures and video, and then my pictures. And then it'll see, it'll have the file that you saved it. So I saved it as red abstract. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to options and then I'm going to set set as wallpaper and external wallpaper because that's the outside of the phone and there you guys go the wallpaper is right on my phone I'll have a picture of that um, I'll have it on the screen for like about 10 seconds and uh, you can see what it looks like uh, you can see what it looks like um, if, you, if you guys have any questions or comments or whatever uh, please put it in the uh, comment box and please subscribe to uh, my channel. I have more videos coming. Um, so stay tuned for more and I'll uh, see you guys in my next video. Later, guys.